glad you are here. We are the Super Crew. I am Aria. I'm Ellison. And my name is Emma. Oh. And this is our favorite fun furry friend, Bark. Oh, 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 oh. Hey look, the Super Box. Did you send us something super? Yes! Here at the clubhouse, we help connect the super clue, the big deal, and the Bible. Should we see what's inside? Yes! Running shoes. Bark, bring those back. Do you see Bark? Where is he? He's behind the table! Behind the table? I must have missed him. Oh, I think I found him! No, that's just my old sock. Where, where, where could he be? He's outside! Outside? Let's go! Bark! There you are! Are you ready to get back the super glue? Well, now that we have the shoes back, I wonder, what do running shoes have to do with our big deal? To the rescue, God forgives me. Let's wander together. Yeah. Oh, I've got it. When I go running, I'm not ready to go full speed until I have my shoes on. They have to be all laced up for me to be ready to go. This super clue is about being ready. Ellison, you are a genius. <laughs> Today's big deal is to the rescue, God forgives me. This super clue reminds us that God is always ready to forgive us. Forgive us? Why does God need to forgive us? The Bible tells us that we all make wrong choices and to disobey God. The good news is that God is ready to forgive us. All we have to do is ask. Now be watching because we're gonna see the super clue again. And when you see the super clue, here's what I want you to do. Since today's super clue is running shoes, I want you to move your arms like you're ready to start running, like this. Can you try it with me? Great job. Let's go back inside and check out today's Bible story. We have got a great Bible story for you. Remember, the Bible is true and it's for you. So. Let's open the Bible and see how Jesus is always ready to forgive. Ready? Here we go. Jesus forgave a woman. A man named Simon, who was an important leader, invited Jesus to his house to eat with him. Sometimes these important leaders thought they were better and more important than other people. Jesus was different. Jesus spent time with people that other people looked down on or were not welcomed because of who they were or what they had done. Jesus also chose to eat with Simon, one of those important leaders. While some friends were at the table in Simon's house, a woman in the town who had done wrong things came to Jesus and began to wash his feet with her tears. She wiped Jesus' feet dry with her hair. Then she took a bottle of special oil and poured it on Jesus' feet. Simon said to himself, Jesus should know this is a woman who has done wrong things. Simon wondered why Jesus would allow her to wash his feet like this. Wait a minute, doesn't the Bible say that everyone has done wrong things? Why was Simon so mad at this one woman? Great question, Ellison. Simon thought he was better than the woman, but the Bible says that we all have done wrong things that need God's forgiveness. Let's look and see what Jesus told Simon next. Jesus told Simon a story. A man who had two people who owed him money. The first person owed a lot of money. The second person owed a little money. The man in Jesus' story forgave both people and didn't make them pay back the money. Jesus asked Simon which person the man loved more. Simon answered, the one he forgave more. Jesus turned and looked at the woman and said to Simon, When I came in your house, you did not wash my feet. But this woman, with her tears, has washed my feet and dried them with her hair. You did not pour oil on me, but she poured oil on my feet. The many wrong things she has done have been forgiven. That is why she showed me this love. But the one who is forgiven little, loves little. The people who were at the table with Jesus asked each other, Who is this man? Then Jesus told the woman, You are forgiven. Go in peace. Wow, 
That was a great story. Jesus was ready to forgive the woman for the wrong things she had done. Jesus was kind to the woman and forgave her. And she showed Jesus how grateful she was by washing his feet. We all need forgiveness from the wrong things we do, but we can celebrate that Jesus was ready to forgive. Hey, do you see the super clue? Do you remember what to do? Great job. Running shoes remind us that God is always ready to forgive us. So next time you see some running shoes, or maybe they're your own, remember, God is ready to forgive you. So... We have learned that God is always ready to forgive, no matter what we do. No matter where we are, God is always ready to forgive. Let's say our big deal one more time. I'm going to say it first, and then you say it after me. Ready? To the rescue. To, to the, the rescue. rescue. God forgives me. God, God forgives, forgives me. me. Hey, Allison, I think Bark is ready to go on a walk. Think you can take him? Absolutely. Ready to go? Thanks for joining us at the clubhouse today, friends. I hope you'll come back again soon. Oh, wait, I wasn't ready. <laughs>